Saturday night, Gas Gang Live. Your special guest host in the shop for repairs is my very own King Motors Baja. But this is not just a regular Baja, guys. You've seen this thing drift. You have seen this thing beat many, many electrics on the RC track. And if you haven't seen it, there's videos of it happening. They're very good. In fact, they were blown away. This features a rare stuffed crank RC MK engine. You cannot get these engines anymore. But you know what's not too great about this thing? It doesn't start. That's kind of a problem because like tomorrow, it's supposed to be Gas Gang Sunday. And I can't fire this up. Let me say hello to everyone that is here. And then we will continue with the Baja attack for today. We got RC Adventures here, Lucas Stolkup. That tracks a Cerebo here. Just passing that Virginia, Pennsylvania border. You drive safe, my dude. We got Tara Curry, Michael Sucha, Jason Brawley. How you doing, my guys? Manny, Manny Fresh, Valak Stone, FPV. All right, guys. It's been, and I'm going to say this phrase. I honestly don't like this phrase. What's up, Pitbull Air Cooled? I heard it the other day. The phrase is dumb. It's a bad phrase. You know how people say it's been a minute? Don't use that phrase. It's dumb. I don't like it. It lowers your IQ 10 and a half points. We got Texas Hill here in the stream. Nitro Game Queen Melissa. All right, guys. So, as I said, this is a, this is a heavy Baja. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna put it down in a little bit because, like, I'm legit holding it the whole time. But, of course, when you're, you're, when you're not a string bean, you go to the gym. And when you want to fire up a Baja live stream, you do that as well. Well, guys, the main problem is it's a no-starter. It don't start. We got Steven, Brandy, what's going on, man? Let me, um, we're going to wait a little while here longer. I have a couple tests ready for us to go with. Anybody know what that is? I've used this multiple times in videos before. Multiple times, multiple times. This is a spark tester. Highly, highly necessary and usable tool. Now, really, it's not 100% necessary. But for show and tell purposes... We're going to use the spark plug tester. I'll show you guys how we're going to do it. So we have a non-starting Baja, all right? Uh, it's hard for me to show you here on the video. Let me just tilt it down a little bit. And uh, for those of you that want to check out the Baja, you can. For those of you that want to look at the wall of RCs, you also can. But don't look at that one, okay? You can't get that one. That, one, that one's private. That's a private RC right there. It's, uh, it's very private. Tom Cruise has dibs on it, all right? As soon as it converts to uh, uh, Scientology, Tom Cruise is going to get it. All right, now, here is the problem. It don't start, everybody. It don't start. I've already done everything. In fact, I was out on the RC track a couple of weeks ago. It fired up, and then it died. And then, she did not sing anymore, okay? It was, it was quite quite embarrassing. I showed up to do a Baja video. Thing didn't start. I was, I was pretty much upset. But, rest assured, everybody, we're going to diagnose it. And if I think it is what I think it is, you guys tell me what you think it is. We got Dodger Boy, how you doing? Uh, A2RC is here with us in the stream. Maxwell Buckner, how are you doing? He goes, remember to like the video. That would really help me out if you give this a like, which is a thumbs up. If you don't, tell me why not. Maybe we'll have a little sparring session, you know. But tomorrow, guys, I am, uh, I am getting ready to go to the RC swap meet. I am not 100% sure what I will be bringing yet. But I figure I'm going to try to sell every single electric I have. All right, so uh, whether there will be a live stream, likely not, I don't know. People get a little weird when they're on video as if there's not cameras everywhere around you 24 seven. Your freaking car has cameras. All right, anyway, uh, let me read some of your comments over here. We got Strictly Banks, how you doing Strictly Banks goes. Spark or fuel, you are correct. That is actually basically the two main ingredients any engine needs to run, right? Well, especially a Baja style engine, which is a two-stroke gasoline engine. You need spark, you need fuel. We're gonna check for spark. Now, if we have spark, generally speaking, it's going to be a fuel problem. Now, we have ourselves a new refurbished Walbro carburetor. This is um, a modified carb. It's a, let me see, it's a, it's a real Walbro carb. It's a 1191, so this is basically an 1107 with improved the metering spring. Special thanks to uh, Lotus420. He mailed me this carb a little while ago. Actually, this was supposed to be used on a Red Cat Rampage. Uh, I fixed the Red Cat Rampage with like a fake carb, and now we got a good one left over, and I figure we're going to put the genuine Walbro carb 
in to the non-genuine Baja. You guys like that? All right, thank you for that channel donation from RC Nitro Flux. I appreciate that, man. Him and I were speaking today about uh, the Jado Brake Flip mod. I'll mention that in a little bit if you guys are having bad Jado Brakes. There's actually a lot to be learned from the Jado Brake Flip mod um, conversation, right? Because not every Jado needs it, but every Jado will need it, okay? Remember I said that, and come back and I say I told you so, okay? Now, Tara Curry goes, so it is the carb. Now, um, I... I'm 95% sure the carb is for sure bad. Now, I'm not gonna try to start it now. Maybe when we swab the carb out, I'll go outside and we'll try to start it, okay? I'm gonna promise you guys that. The thing is heavy, so I'm gonna need like a system to open the doors. But I have already tried everything possible. I tried to even record this outside. It was, it was, it was kind of annoying. So I'm quite convinced the only element left to attack for us guys is the carb. Now this one should be good. It did come from the world's best channel moderator and big block T-Max owner, Lotus420, as always. So the genuine World War Carb, we're not getting no fake nonsense in here. This is uh, a King Motors, but the engine is actually quite, quite epic. So I'm going to wait a little while longer and some people will show up here in the stream. If you guys want, I could give you a little update on the T-Max from yesterday. You guys remember the T-Max from yesterday? It was missing a ton of parts, all right? Terra Curry goes, how long has it been sitting? Um, to be honest with you, man, not too long. I actually run this once in a while, take it to the RC track. If, even if you don't see me do videos on this Baja, I actually do run this one quite often. This is like my very reliable one. It has a fail safe, has cool lights, it's solid. So this is the fuel that I've been running. This is the best fuel you can get for, for your two-stroke gas engine, right? It's ethanol-free, 25 to one. I understand in some states you're able to get ethanol-free gasoline. Some of us live in states where, you know, you can like go pump a uh, race car fuel kind of thing. Uh, Strictly Banks goes probably the bad diaphragm. 100% you're correct. It is almost always a bad diaphragm. The problem is the diaphragms cost about the same price as like a fake carb. So I'm not gonna get into like replacing diaphragms. I'm just gonna swap the carb. I have a good carb. This carb has been tested by the channel moderator here and uh, I trust it and it's gonna be sickening. Now, if you wanna pick some of this fuel up, this is the 25 to one premix. I've uh, gone through a lot of fuels over the years, guys. I've used pump fuel from uh, race stations. You know, uh, my friend had given me like a gallon. I had to mix oil in it. I've used 93 octane with ethanol. I've used um, 91 octane, I've used ethanol stabilizers, I've used every type of oil you could possibly use for two-stroke engines. The Amsoil Dominator, uh, Caster Maxima 927, I've used them all, okay? Uh, in fact, I still have some, like, in the background if you take a look somewhere. It's, it's, it's there guaranteed. Now, this for sure, I have never run into problems using this fuel. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, hybrid man, why are you smoking on us right now? You know, you ran into a problem with this Baja. The thing is, this engine was already used when I got it. I only wound up like paying 300 bucks for this Baja and the carb was already bad to begin with. Eric and Matthew, what's going on, my dude? Happy to see you here, all right? Uh, JR's Moto and RC Hobbies. Uh, let me answer your comment over here. Uh, you know, if you want to email me, man, you could reach out. My email is pretty easy. It is... You know, hybrid3249 forward hotmail.com. It's, it's literally my YouTube username at hotmail.com. If you, if you send it something, you know, I'll use it eventually. But for now, this engine is quite good. I'm going to go through a couple checks. We'll check the plug. I'm going to have to remove all this. Um, compression is very good. I'm going to show you right now. That, that's, that's okay compression, right? It's not that easy to pull it over. So we have compression. This engine was about... I would say a 300 something dollar engine when it was new. Now you cannot get them anymore. It's a RCMK. It's kind of like a marine style uh, brand, but I don't know why they call them that because it's like in, in a Baja for some reason, it's weird. But if you want to get this fuel guys, I'm telling you, get it, Power Mix 25 to one. It's VP fuel um, at A-Main. This is like, I think right now, 11 or $12 a quart. It's, it's really, really good. Now, you're really not going to use more than maybe two of these in, in like a long time. Believe it or not, these engines are relatively fuel efficient. I have done videos where I was breaking in uh, the 45cc Baja. And if you're breaking in a 45cc Baja, you better get like a gallon, right? But this is uh, pretty good. This quart lasts me like a good three months, right? So I, I'm actually almost out of it right now. I'm like on this very, very last bit. I'm going to have to order some more. I think there will be like... Um, some kind of a shipping charge in that. But either way, you want to get it. I put a link. It's in stock. That fuel, the last time I ordered, it was sold out for about half a year after. 
So uh, take advantage while you can. It's really, really sickening, my dudes. Now, time for the Baja. This, it's a very old model, right? I'm not gonna BS you. Let me give you a little close up. I'll switch uh, the camera view. But before I continue to the Baja, I asked you guys earlier, do you wanna see an update on the T-Max from yesterday? What's up, Keith Tolhurst, man? Sorry I didn't message you about the stream. I was a little busy, you know, I got home a little late. Uh, tomorrow's a swap meet, but I'm happy to see you here and all of you dudes here. Uh, that's my RC. Make sure, man, you get that. Uh, use the link in the description if you can, please. Um, it's it's that, that fuel is solid. I'm telling you, it's ethanol free. Now, the thing is, yeah, some people live in states where you can, like, go to the station and pump a gallon of ethanol free, like, fuel they use for, like, drag racing. The thing is, you still gotta mix oil in yourself. I really don't like doing that. It's uh, it's kind of a messy job, it smells. You gotta get like a gas container, they leak, there's vapors, it's freaking annoying. Uh, so let me show you the T-Max from yesterday. Um, all right, Terra Curry goes, the background where you are sitting looks great. Thank you, man. I bought another shelf unit today. I was at Costco in the morning. We got another shelf unit. We're gonna continue the theme going around the wall. If I show you the rest of this wall, what the hell is that? There should be nitros on that wall, shouldn't there? Right there. there but there's, there's no nitros. There, there's gonna be. All right, so let me show you uh, the update on the T-Max. I'm a little bit impressed with the, with the work I've done, actually. I spent a good amount of hours today 3D printing stuff. What's up, Grizzly RC? All right, Matthew, does stuff. Uh, just joined. I think you mean like channel membership or something? I'm not sure what you're talking about. I don't see it yet. Maybe it'll show up in a little bit, but that'll be sickening. Let me show you. So for those of you that thought I thought a 3D printer just to uh, just to mess around with and I wasn't gonna print nothing, that's not the case. This is the T-Max from yesterday with the awesome instantly tunable 2.5R that we made great again. Now I still need electronics obviously, but check out the rear end. This is all 3D printed guys. All right, so I had a bumper, but I didn't have any bumper supports. This, the bumper support, all of this, the white stuff is 3D printed, right? I got the files, I 3D printed them, and um, this T-Max is gonna fly, all right? So uh, I gotta say the files aren't, aren't very good. To, to be honest with you, eventually I will probably buy the original parts. Like whoever designed these files, they didn't bevel the edges well at all. What's up Nitro RC and Electrics? Happy to see you here, man. Happy Saturday night gas to you. Uh, I hope nobody has gas, but if you do, go take some Omeprazole. Anybody here ever take Omeprazole? I bought like a ton of it at Costco today, believe it or not. You could look healthy on the outside, but I have free, freaking acid reflux. All right, unbelievable, all right. But, all right, so T-Max is ready to go. You guys saw I fired this up yesterday and it was, incre it was incredible. But um, I do want to be fair and I do want to use the things that people have sent me over the years. And like I said, this is a carb that was sent to me by Lotus420. Go to his channel. He has, I would say, probably the baddest Baja on YouTube right now. Uh, of course, there's some better one, but he has like a good one. You know, it's, it's very good. Uh, it's something you could be proud of. All right, we got Mix RCs, Matthew Dustoff, how you doing? Michael Such is here, all aspects RC. All right, guys, sorry if I don't mention your name a little bit sometimes. Jason Brawley, happy to see you here, man. All right. By the way, you guys remember this shirt? I wore this like years ago. You know, the thing is with wearing shirts, you got to not throw them out too much because if you wear them like two to two to years apart, you can see if you're getting fat. I, for sure, am getting a little fat, but it's okay. You know, it's not my fault. Well, actually, it is your fault. You got to take responsibility and accountability for your fat ass. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm one to do that, okay? Now, I think tomorrow at the RC swap meet, I'm going to have um, nothing here for sale. Um, I'm actually going to, like, dig up, I think, maybe two electrics. And I'm going to try to sell them. I have an associated uh, DR10. You guys remember the DR10? It's like that drag car. Everybody bought them at one time and then, like... They went on sale and then they cut them. It's like they cut them and then that's it. You can't get them anymore. And in fact, they actually kind of suck. They're good looking, but they kind of suck. All right. Let's see what uh, Lotus 420 over here is saying. He goes, Boto Gel got the baddest Baja on YouTube. Well, that is actually the truth, man. And a lot of us have um, aspirations to Boto Gel statuses, okay? But can't all bench press 700 pounds, but I for sure can bench press about 315, okay? All right. That's enough for me. Uh, for a person of my size, that's fine. All right. JB George, how you doing, man? Thank you for the shout out to Nitro Gang Queen, Queen Melissa. She appreciates them. Now, let's dig into this Baja. I'm going to remove the, the roll cage right now and we'll uh, get to work, guys. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate the fact that it doesn't start because it's going to smell real bad in here. I got to really care about my vertigo. Um, I think last time I caused 
case of vertigo for myself. It's pretty much bad. I'm not going to do that again. All right. I'm going to remove the roll bar. Obviously, the body, it's going to be it's going to be a little bit of work. All right, guys. Enjoy the view. Um, by the way, this model has, uh, these are like the optional lights you can get from Roven. They're very, very powerful. You saw them in the thumbnail, right? And this one has the front disc brakes. If you're wondering about the front disc brakes, yeah, this is them. Um, get a car that's four wheel drive, okay? I'm gonna tell you something right now. If you want front brakes, get a four wheel drive car, okay? Because the front brakes, they're better than no front brakes, but they're only about 25% better, which means they're trash. In fact, uh, I think if you get the like the hydraulic ones, they're better, but from what I hear, the hydraulic brakes on Bajas are even worse, right? Okay. We're gonna continue. All aspects RC, man. Great observation, dude. You ate your carrots today. All aspects RC goes. Is that an E Savage in the background? That's the E Savage, the very first one. I'm um, probably never gonna sell it. I did one video on it. Lost like eight subscribers, and now I just put it in the background. I don't understand. You know, so I think it's still a Savage. If it's a, it has the name of Savage, I mean, I think it's cool. What do you guys think? All right. Let's, uh, let's continue. Anyways, rear brakes uh, on the Baja are very good. The thing is with the brake setup, if you get like the front disc brakes, it's still using the same throttle servo to, to apportion the brakes anyway. So um, actually you're just putting a ton of stress on the servo. You better make sure your servo doesn't strip. You don't want no strippers in there. All right, so let me uh, get to work. We're gonna take the body off. This body does in fact uh, happen to be original in case, holy moly, did you just see what's on the side? Guys, whatever that is in the box, right there, I can't point to it. Whatever, behind this freaking wheel. Don't look at it, okay? It's top secret. It's top secret. It's not ready to be revealed. It's high-level top secret stuff. Now, let me get ready. We're going to disassemble this Baja. It's actually not too bad to work on. But the goal today, for those of us just joining us, let me know if you could see okay. I'm going to try not to vibrate the table too much. Yes, this air filter sucks. You don't got to tell me, everybody. Okay, it sucks. I know it sucks. It's it's real bad. But it's what was there, and I really don't run in dirt that much, right, or water. So it's not going to be a problem. Right, let's remove the body. If you guys just joined, please give this video a like if you can, if it's not too much to ask. If it is too much to ask, well, then it's fine, too. Damn. Where's that body clip? All right, here we go. All right, so basically my plan is to, um, well, swap the carb because I'm pretty confident the carb is bad, All right? Yeah, it's not a bad idea to take the lights off because like all this stuff is gonna bend, but. jammed over here all right we got it okay we got it we got it yeah so this body does in fact happen to be an original hpi you could see the um indentation here for the hpi body painted really really nice in my opinion all right if you guys want i'll give you an overview of the chassis see what it looks like Question is, where's my light? I need Melissa to bring me my light. Lost the light. Okay, it doesn't matter. All right, guys, you want to see uh, a little view of the of the chassis up close to see what the electronics and everything are? Give me a hell yeah. So here we go. Let me just get the lights here, and I'll position the camera in a. In a positive uh, location there. All right, here we go. So, yeah, as you can see, we're running a pretty high level, a Sabox servo. We got an aluminum servo horn. You know, this system with the dual front and rear brakes, uh, it's not really called dual. It's basically just running cables, kind of like a bike system. It's, I always worry about the servo stripping. It's not really good in my opinion, right? So this air filter sucks. Let me roll it forward, everybody. And you can have a look at that engine. 
because that engine is uh honestly super reliable if you haven't seen the videos on this this thing is a drift monster drift monster i say right so we got the rcmk very rare i know years ago ddm racing did used to sell these but lately i haven't seen them at all now this post order is like a cheap roving post order it's not the original post order it broke the original one right right so this one has a couple upgrades the most important upgrades you could possibly get for baja in my opinion and you guys let me know what you think are your important upgrades for baja we have the hd upper chassis brace this is very very important what's up dj holman uh, HD upper upper chassis brace top top level importance right there everybody top level We also have, have a bottom chassis brace So if you add up all the aluminum, I think this is like four millimeters then like five and then like five Dude, this is like 14 to 15 millimeter aluminum right here in the front like ain't nobody bending this The entire front end is all rpm suspension arms. The shocks are quite adequate in my opinion not the best, but they're adequate. Uh, the pipe, this is the original King Motors pipe. It's it's fine. I kind of like this pipe a lot because it tucks away behind the bumper. It's actually way better than the regular Roven pipes. The King Motor pipes are, in my opinion, significantly better. Anyway, let's begin working on um, the fuel system. Now, I know someone just said there's something wrong with my grommet. It's not the best grommet. But these aren't, you know, I don't really flip it upside down. I don't see a crazy amount of, like, precipitation there. So I think it should be okay, right? It's, it's not, like, crazy, I think, in my opinion. All right, let's get down to the filter. This model also does have the fail-safe. I'll show you right now if you want to check it out. Let me know. Give me a Stone Cold Stunner if you want to see the fail-safe. All right, well, you can't give me a Stunner because then I'll, you know, not be good. But, all right. So here we go. Steering is impressive. So these old models, they had um, external battery gauges on them. You can't really see it because basically it's like the big ass LED is on. It's green right there, but you know, it's there. Um, save box is very, very effective. There's the lights, get the lights. You're gonna be, you're gonna have a good day. Now, let's turn it off. The older style, uh, killer RC kill switch was actually very very small so if you ever get one and it's like a small little uh, kill switch it's the first gen model what's up australiano RC happy to see you here everyone just joining us we are working on a Baja now this one has let me give you guys a recap it has a no start condition that means I can pull it and we got nothing it was actually quite embarrassing about like last week I was at the RC track I pull out the Baja this was the only RC I came with and it didn't fire up it's pretty bad. Of course, luckily for me, I had other great people there and we still had a good time. Okay. Now, let's take off, um, I think, one of the... Yeah, I don't have this like fully connected, if you guys noticed right there. Let's see, what do I forgot to... Okay, so there's clips at the bottom. Let me take the clips out. Not that tough to work on these. Actually, the roll cage is kind of just held in with clips on the bottom right there. It's pretty easy. Actually, the design of the Bajas is, is, is pretty genius in my opinion. All right. John Hensley, how you doing, man? He goes, that thing have disc brakes on the front? Yes. This is... um. The King Motors disc brake kit, right? Basically, it's, it's like cables that run from the throttle servo. You have to be really, really careful with the way this is set up because the way it actually works, um, it's, it's a little bit counterintuitive. You would think that, what's up, Foghorn, Leghorn, long time no see, man. Happy to have you here. You would think, right, that, oh, you're going to get front disc brakes. Your brakes are going to be better. The reality is, guys, um, this is like so something that's actually quite important. The reality is, this servo, not only is it operating your rear brake, right? Now it's also using a lot of that torque to go to the front. So if your brake bias is even a little bit off, you're not going to have very good braking in the back and your front brakes are going to suck too. You'll actually have worse brakes. I learned that lesson too many times. All right, my dudes, let's get down to taking off the roll cage. Let's hope I remember how to do this. I have this 
GoPro mount here. It's actually pretty important. Can't lose that one. That's like my best one. Um, you don't really have to remove the roll cage to get the, the car, but like for my purposes, I think it's it's not a bad idea to do so. All right, so this usually comes off and you really don't need to remove all of it. It's kind of okay uh, as it is right now. What's going on over here? The screws in there. All right, I think before what I did is I twisted this off and then this roll cage is supposed to flip back. Yeah, once you remove some of these screws on top, it's supposed to just flip back. So let me just get some of that work going. Yeah, it's supposed to just flip back. But technically, you don't even need to remove this. This is kind of like very heavily modified. Um, I don't honestly even remember the last time I did this. So I might make a little bit of a forgetful error, right? And you're going you're gonna to have to forget me about that. I mean, forgive me, not forget. Don't forget, bro. Don't, don't forget. Nobody has Al Alzheimer's here. It's not good. All right, don't forget. I'm just going to remove this because I also want to get to the spark plug. All right. Thank you for guys uh, stopping in. What's up, Cassiano Marin? You know, today, right now, I'm really supposed to be getting ready for the RC swap meet. But I figured it's been a while since people have seen this Baja. And uh, maybe a little bit of work is, is, is in order, right? Let me get to this side. Yeah. Let's rearrange. Just gonna remove this entire thing. I I also want to clean some of these pieces, so it's not too big big of a deal, really. Once we swap this out, I think I'm going to uh, go try to fire it up outside. So it's basically supposed to be like a tension mechanism here. Quite sure. This is supposed to be held on so I don't have the full roll cage removed in the front. It's kind of the problem right here. Oh, the problem is I forgot one of the clips. My bad, guys. There's a clip on this side. All right. Okay, that's better. Right. I'm gonna just like manhandle these parts. Okay, so the front is out. There you go. Technically, you know, normally you wouldn't have the front brake linkage, so, but since we have the front brake linkage, you're going to the front brakes there. It's making this a little bit annoying. This has to like go under it. It's it's a little bit annoying because of that reason alone. All right. To be honest with you, yes, my fuel tank probably should be replaced, and it definitely needs. Uh, oh, JR's Motor and RC Hobbies. Uh, email is hybrid three two four nine four at hotmail.com. It's this YouTube username, you know. It's literally the YouTube username at hotmail.com. Um, if you send it, I could I could let you know if I got something. All right, let, let me take this off. This should just be a clip, unless I'm missing a couple of these. Oh no, since this is like an RPM system, it has to, I think it has to be unscrewed. It's not like a regular Baja system, so we have like giant sheet screws on top too here. It kind of holds it all together. All right, yep, there we go. We have access to the plug now. This RPM system is really, really reliable, by the way. If you're going to get anything like this, what's up, John Hensley, man? If you're going to get, guys, uh, those aluminum roll cages, I really would advise against that. Get yourself a prop. This one was already here, but I kind of hate it. The RPM stuff for Bajas is very, very good. And it's robust. It's reliable. All right, so honestly, I don't really have to remove the rest of this. Yeah, the clips are pretty strong. I mean, I could remove it.
Oh, this is this the problem. I didn't remove this plate. You really don't have to, because like I already have access to the plug. But just for easier easier uh, vis visibility, I'll uh, I'll see what I can do here. Uh, Mix RC goes. What kind of speed does this one get? So this one has been tested and it hit, I think, 46. There's videos of this one hitting 46, exactly as you see, which is actually quite significantly fast for stock gearing. Uh, 46 is really fast for one of these, you know, in, in my opinion. John Hensley, uh, Sandy does not go in the Nitro headquarters over here. Um, he, he's allowed, but the thing is he's gonna hide and then like sometimes I wanna go and pet him. I won't be able to find him, you know, I'm gonna be sad. But uh, he doesn't really ruin anything. Like he's he's a pretty good cat. You know he hides all the time, but like he don't he doesn't really ruin anything. All right, so let's continue. I'm gonna work on um, just moving this roll cage. Guys, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, this this system is a little. Uh, it's just supposed to. Uh, there we go. Okay, well now I got the damn lights over here. Should I take the lights off too? Uh, we don't even need to take the lights off. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it like this, all right? So first thing, you want you want to check the spark plug or what? I'll check the plug. You guys want to see me check the plug? We could check that plug. Mix RC goes yes. All right. So we're looking at the plug right now. It's the plug gang. All right. Now there's technically a couple things you could do at this point. You could you could check to see whether your coil actually has uh, any. Well, if you have ignition to begin with, if, if the coil is working. If you want me to check the coil, I can do that. Um, all we need is the spark tester. So the, the thing is the spark tester eliminates the need for the plug. So we can leave the plug in here and we could just check the coil. What I'll do, I'm just gonna unscrew the plug a little bit so I don't have crazy compression. All right, the plug is a little loose. So what we can do first guys, we're just going to check the coil itself with the spark plug tester. The way this thing works is it basically mimics a, a gap for the plug. You see there's an adjustable rod here, you can turn it in and out, and uh, you, you can check the plug uh, spark gap that way. Based on how long it jumps, you kind of have a gauge of uh, how good your coil is, right? Because the one thing is hard to check really, unless you take the plug out, is the coil. All right. So uh, this thing has to be on because we have a kill switch. All right. Or mad season, how you doing? Goes gifted one membership. Let's see who got it. Oh, Dodger boy got the gifted membership. Welcome to the crew, man. Uh, happy to have you back. Thank you for that uh, channel gift member from Mad Season. Now is that Madden? It looks like you forgot En. I'm not sure, but thank you for that, man. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna leave the plug in here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is a little bit, maybe a little bit overkill. I don't know, but I I usually go step by step. Now for me, I already know we have a bad carb. But, you know, I'm going to approach this um, as a helpful technique that other people could use, hopefully. So, this is like a $10 item. It's on Amazon, whatever. I'll, you know, it's fine. So, let's plug in the boot into the, the tester itself, right? So, basically, the coil is connected to the tester. You guys could see the tester right here. I'm going to leave it there for the camera. And this is the ground, right? So, we got to connect the ground... Uh, oh, we got Kevin Trappin from Mad Season. Oh my goodness, a classic channel fan and member and friend of mine is back, guys. We got Kevin Trappin. Dude, Melissa was asking, where's Kevin Trappin? Told him you're probably still at the, at the, at the football game. I mean, the, the basketball, the baseball game, you know? All right, so we're going to connect this to the head. That's uh, basically any metal part, like connecting to the motor, the pipe is, is ground. So I'm going to pull this coil and we'll see if there's any spark that bridges this gap, right? I think, um, yeah, the system is on, the kill switch is, is normal. All right, so let's watch the gap, watch the gap. 
I'm gonna watch the gap myself on the computer, okay? <laughs> All right. Oh man, it's too much compression. I gotta undo the plug more. Let's hope it works. Oh God, it's crazy compression. I can barely pull it. I'm gonna take the plug out. We'll test it with the plug next time. It's too much compression. It's hard to pull on the table on its own. A plug is great. All right, let's do it again. Yeah, now, now it's good. I could easily pull it. Okay, RC Cape Cod, what's up? Can't see it. I gotta look mad close. And I can't see my own compression. I'm gonna put the, on the header bolt. All right. Let's see, I gotta see if it's at the right setting. Okay, I think you should be able to see it. Let me let me just try it. I'll I'll adjust the lights in a little. Yep, yep, I saw the gap. I saw it. I'm gonna put the lights off. So you guys, I'm gonna zoom in on this. Watch this. So this is just a uh, a test of the coil right now, right? So we got the plug out. Watch watch the gap. Everybody, eyes front and center. Don't touch the car because you'll get shocked. Oh, well, the metal parts. You see that coil? We got spark. Smells like gas in here now. Sickening. All right, we good? Do we need more proof? I'll do it a couple more times, but it's super sparkening. In fact, I usually like to put a little bit of oil in the cylinder just to make me feel happier. All right, like 10 drops. So let's check out the coil again. This is just a coil test, nothing more. We got the spark, baby. All right, YouTube, how you doing? It goes, thumbs up. Hey, Wire, what's going on, man? He goes, hey, Wire, goes, did your shelves collapse? These are like plastic, so they're pretty reliable, you know? All right, sickening. We got coil is good. All right, next, next thing to test. Let's back up. All right, so we're doing process of elimination, guys, okay? Process of elimination says we got coil, coil is okay. It's sending, it's sending sparks, so coil is good, all right? All right, John Hensley, if you guys get a Baja and don't start, this is what you do, you know? All right, to remove the spark tester, confirmed, we have spark, we have, the coil is good. All right, now we're going to test the actual plug. This is going to be the hairy part. Let me clean this plug before I do anything, because uh, I'm not going to put it back in there dirty like that. Where's my cleaner, John? Let me get my cleaner. Okay, guys, give me a second. Let me, let me clean the plug a little bit. All right. Saturday night gas gang live. It's been a, it's been a long time, man. It's been a long time. Happy to see you guys here. I understand the gas and the nitro audience might be a little different. But at the end of the day, it's all two stroke gang, isn't it? It is. All right. All right. So the plug seems to be in normal condition. It's an NGK. Uh, all of these fit scales use the same plug. It's an NGK CMR7H. Um, yeah, John Henson goes, eliminating everything that could be an issue is important. Exactly. That's kind of like what I'm doing right now. Now, in my experience, I know it's almost always either the plug or the carb. So the first thing I'll do when something doesn't start is I'll check whether we have spark from the plug. And how you do that, you take the plug, you stick it sideways, and you fire Vince McMahon. Kidding around everybody, okay? You can't fire him. He already cashed out. He's a billionaire. Let me clean um, the top of this. I'm very careful where uh, like there's open surfaces that dirt could fall in. All right, so now we have the plug. We're gonna put the plug back in. This is gonna be the really hard part to actually see. When you're doing this, it's actually pretty easy. You don't need that plug tester that I just used. All you need is your hand, make sure you're not touching anything metal. Touch, uh, like, you know, any metal of the car, usually the exhaust. In this case, we have fins on the top. So I'm going to pull it again, and you guys watch for the spark, okay? Don't touch any metal parts of the car, you're gonna get shocked. It's gonna be super shocking. Okay, guys, you think the plug is good? We're gonna check the plug right now. Go, go ahead, give me a hell yeah, check the plug, hybrid, and shut up. Uh, let's check the plug. Uh-oh. Hold on a second. I don't think I see any. Do I see any 
any spark in there? I don't think I see any spark in there. Let me get, get a little better in there. I'm just gonna hold it like that. I think I don't see any spark in there. Let me get this a little better. I'm gonna do this, okay. I don't think we have any spark. I'm thinking the plug is dead. What's up, Andy Bartnett? How you doing? Rooster, how are you, man? It's gas gang testing over here. Dude, I think, I think we have no spark. Let me get closer. That may be a dead plug. Let me get really close. So I'm touching the ground and the plug is connected. We know the coil is good. So we're gonna check again. Watch over here on the electrode. We got no spark at all. Damn, we got no spark at all. Okay. Do I have another spark plug is the real question right now. It's definitely not sparking at all. <laughs> we got no sparking. Damn, maybe the carb is not bad. The gap seems good. I don't see anything obvious with the gap. Uh, Mix RC goes sandpapered a little bit. I can do that. Um, let me go check my gas container. I might have a couple of, um, a couple, uh, I might have a spark, okay? Yeah, Terracura goes, I think we have spark. We got no spark at all, bro. I think the plug is dead. Let me just go check. Um, I might have a second spark plug, but I'm not sure if I do. Let me go look, take a look. Tara Curry, we have spark from the coil, but not the plug. Plug got zero spark. Damn, I'm digging real hard right now. It appears we are spark free. You think it's the end, right? You think I'm gonna give up right now? No, I'm gonna go to another gas RC. I'm gonna get a spark plug from there. Let me just see who's here. We got Ak Aketsa73, what's up bro? Digital Darkness, how you doing? Terracurra goes, I saw spark. Did you see spark? I didn't see spark. Let me do another real close examination. I'm gonna try to see the spark again. Okay. Um, let me clean the tip a little bit. If not, I'll go dig into another gas RC. I got like rampages everywhere. Mad season goes, get one from your Prius. Bro, Prius is no more, I sold it. We got no more Prius, the Prius is gone. In fact, tomorrow guys, I'm selling the Mercury Grand Marquis. All right? And yes, it's running rich because that's the channel. All right, Prius is no more, my dudes. Prius is gone. I sold it to an illegal. All right, okay, let's try it again. I'm serious actually about that one. Paid good money too, all right. Earl Borja goes, always clean your tip, man. That's true. I just cleaned it. Okay. Yeah. Mad season formerly. Kevin Trapper goes, ouch, ouch, not the Prius. Yeah, man. I got a Nissan Murano now. It's a gas guzzler. All right. So I'm going to try this again. Let's uh, enjoy the tip show. Let me uh, kneel, it, kneel it down a little bit. I'm going to pull it again. Let's see if we have any spark. I can't really see it, guys, because I'm not kind of facing it right now. Let uh, me stand up. I'm gonna look this way. I ate a bunch of fuel just now. No, we have no spark at all for sure. There's definitely zero spark. No, 
No. Nah. No, nah, there's no spark. Let me touch the exhaust. No. Nah. There's definitely no spark. It's it's spark free zone right now. Um I'm gonna have to go dig out another plug. So I have a red cat uh, rampage right in the back over there. Let me go get the plug. Man, I didn't think I would have to dig plugs out today, bro. Let me come back with the plug. It's sickening over here. The gap is okay. I've never had like a bad gap, okay? It's gapped. Damn, where's my right cat rampage? You know, guys, I don't think I can get to it. Hey, Melissa! Uh, I'm gonna ask for delivery right now. You know what I do have? I'm gonna get something, hold on. Nothing. Nothing. Bring the box from, from the bedroom. The box on the floor. The good looking box with the blue letters on it and the white stuff. You know what I'm talking about, don't play silly. All right, I put Melissa on a mission, guys. Motivator, give her a high five, tell her to get the box with the nice blue letters on it. All right, do you know what, what box that is? I'm just curious, anybody knows, knows what box that is? Sickening. Okay, let me turn off the car a little bit because the radio thing is going to get discharged. I'm going to wait for a new plug to show up. I'm going to have to take one out of an engine. All right. Loaders for 20. Unfortunately, I, I am surrounded by stuff that I'm cleaning. I can't get to like another RC right now to take the plug out. So I'm going to have to compromise, you know. Uh, John Henson goes, I think it sparked an exhaust. I looked at it. I didn't notice it, dude. So what we'll do... I'm gonna do the same test and uh, with a new plug that, that I know is new. And tomorrow I'm gonna have to like go to Walmart or something like an auto parts store and buy a couple of these plugs. I mean, it, this Baja hasn't run in a while, but I mean, it did fire up and then it just died on its own. But let's hope it's not the carb. Uh, if it is, it's no big deal. I'm gonna wait for this box to show up. Then we're gonna put it in. Man, I thought I had more plugs. Sickening. Let me go take a look over here on the side for some plugs. Well, the news is in. I didn't find the plug, but I did find some sickening video games. Forza, uh, Red Dead, Dawn, Red Dead Redemption, something. This game sucks, too hard to play. And everyone's, uh, not mine, favorite Zelda. I found Zelda very complicated, all right? Not for me. You keep your Zelda, I'll take my Mario Kart. Melissa, did you find the block, the box with the blue letters on it? Can't really move around here. I'm surrounded by by RCs. Right now, sickening. RC goes red. That is awesome. With did you find the box? It's by the door. What? It's by the door. In our room. It's two on boxes? the floor. Yes. The two boxes that I bring the one with a smaller number on it. Yes. Bring the one with a smaller number. All right. Let me see, we got a good question from John Hensley, and I'm gonna wait for the plug. He goes, do them Bajas eat tires fast? Yes, uh, how much do they weigh? They're about like 28 pounds. Now, a lot of people put a whole bunch of pointless aluminum on it, don't be one of those people. 
All right, we're waiting for the plug, dude. I could have done this myself faster. You know, you should just do do what you can do yourself without asking people. Sickening. All right, Lotus420, thank you for that uh, mention. If you guys just noticed, the most awesome channel moderator, a person you could trust with your life and a blood transfusion if you need one. Uh, just put a link to my second channel if you guys want to go. Check it out. Oh, we got RC Hobbies SOS. How you doing, my dude? Uh, for those of you maybe meeting RC Hobbies SOS for your first time, He's a great guy, okay? He has nitros, and he's going to get more nitros. That makes him an even better guy. So also, go to his channel. All right. Lucas Talkup wants to know, what is a moderator? So, you know, unfortunately, here in the world of the wide world web, you sometimes get people that are just, just bad people, right? And moderators go out of their way to dig trenches all day and to keep those people in those trenches kidding around they basically just have a couple of administrative duties if they want they could like put a user in timeout they could like suspend a block a person indefinitely or whatever but usually uh, you know the two or three mods i have rc adventures here um they don't really do any any of that stuff because you know i don't really breed uh jerks here all right okay let me see what you guys are saying i'm waiting for for a plug right now guys and we're gonna try the plug and if it works I'm going to go outside to try to fire it up. I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah, hit me, hit me, hit me. Like the lotto. Hit me like the lotto. All right. Played the lotto like 10 times this past week. I lost. There's two of them. Oh, what is that, everybody? This is Zenoa. Okay, G290. I, I like the small displacement engines. It's a brand new G290. Did I describe the box correctly? I said the box with the letters on it, right? That's definitely the box with the letters on it. No, you say the box with the John Hensley, thank you, bro, for the channel donation. We're going to buy spark plugs for this engine, because if I use this one, I'm going to have to swap it out, you know? All right, so this, this one I actually bought for the Red Cat Rampage. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember the Red Cat Rally that I have. This was actually the engine that was supposed to go into the Red Cat Rally. It's like, dude, that Red Cat is like the world's slowest gas RC. It's fun, though, but it's the world's slowest. The good thing is it's so slow that if you have a runaway, you can almost catch it. All right? Sickening. Let me, um... Brand new, everybody. Brand new. Who else got brand new Zeno engines they forgot about that they keep them by the door? I do. Okay? This is just one. All right? Sickening. Soren Nielsen, what's up, man? Let me, um... So we got the fuel pickup, the pickups and stuff, okay? Yeah. <laughs> the digital darkness goes, I've chased a few runaways of my Mercury one time. Well, I'm selling the Mercury Grammar key tomorrow, bro. It's over. It's gone. I'm selling it to, uh, to, to a person that wants to buy it. I'm doing, like, a good deed, you know? I'm, I'm selling it for a very fair price, honestly, for the price that I have in it. So I'm not making really any money on the car. We got an NGK in this bad boy. All right, genuine G290. Super genuine. More genuine than many people's feelings. That's a joke that you will never forget, okay? All right, so I like the G290, to be honest with you. Um, it's a pretty high RPM engine, in my opinion. Like, a 29cc is, is very good. I know um, the G320 is obviously better. But, you know, G320 costs a little more money. This is a made-in-Japan engine. The only weird things about the Zenoas is they come with these, like, terrible air filters. As if as if it's legit, like, lawn equipment. Oh, Eugene Pony, man, how you doing? Sorry, I didn't see you there earlier. Um, Eugene Pony goes, get the 88cc. One day, man, one day, okay? So, let me take the plug out of this one. Good clutch on it also. Uh, so I basically just need the plug. All right. Yeah, but this was the engine that I wanted to put into the Red Cat Rampage. And then I kind of like forgot the rally, right? Because like, dude, that stock 30cc that Red Cat sells with them, they're, 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 they're very low RPM. They're reliable, but they're low RPM. Okay, we got the new plug. It's the same plug, CMR7H. All these cars use the same plug. All right, brand new plug, gang. We're going to try it right now. 
So, what do you think about that, everybody? Yeah, rings goes. I have the G320. The G320 is, is, is a better engine. It's more powerful. So, for the four-wheel drive, uh, yes, you need it. I would say for like a Baja, in my opinion, a 29cc is adequate. Uh, me, personally, I don't really want to kill tires. I just want to have a good top end and like a lower displacement engine for me is, is okay, right? I'm not like uh, the power king over here. That's Lotus 420, okay? He's the power king. And Woogie Nitro, I don't know if he was here earlier, but like, you know, the power king over there. All right. So we got a new plug. I'm going to stick this in and let me see what happens. Try not to touch the coil, obviously, with your fingers. That would really help. Let me put the car on. If it fires up, I'll go outside, man. I mean, not fires up, if I see spark. All right, guys. To get back to the spark gang, we got the new plug in. I'm going to hold it like so. And you guys uh, just observe the gap. Watch the gap, as they say in like, uh, you know, I think spectator racing. I, I watch a lot of that stuff on YouTube. So watch the gap. Oh, yeah. I see. I see it. Let me change the light so you can see it really good. Yeah, I see it. Watch over here. Can you guys see it okay or no? I'm going to hold it on the back background. Yeah. I see the coil. I see the spark now. So I think our plug was dead. Was bad. Yeah, I see it. Let me give you a little bit of a better view, actually. Thank you guys for stopping by. You've motivated me to get plugs going. It's pretty hardcore what's going on. So watch the gap again. Yeah, I see it. Let me uh, zoom in. I'm going to zoom in a little for you. From this direction, right? So you can kind of see what I'm doing from this direction. And this side of the engine. So watch the gap. You see okay? You let me know. If not, I'll slap myself. All right. Terry Curry goes, yes, thumbs up. So I'm going to pull it again. Damn. All right. It's definitely there. I mean, I could see it for sure. All right. It's definitely spark there. I think I'm just going to put this plug back in. Yeah. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Should I swap the carb out too? I'm not too confident on the carb myself at this point. Do you think I should check the old plug as well again? I'm going to check the old plug again. It's possible I made a mistake. I'm going to check the old plug as well, actually, while we're here. Maybe I didn't seat it correctly, but I doubt that happened. Yeah. I'm going to check this old plug just a little bit again, just for uh, curiosity's sake. You should always kind of double check your own work, right? So watch the gap. Yeah, no, there's definitely no... There's nothing. I'm pulling it right now. There's nothing. It, yeah, this this plug this plug is toast, everybody. So good thing I double checked. All right. So making sure they're the same, they're exactly the same. Yeah, the old plug is that CMR7H. That's what you want. You can get these at like AutoZone, any automotive um, casino goes. Internal plug resistance is dead. Yeah, it, it's probably dead. All right. All right. Carb could be working, goes Maxwell Bruckner. Buckner. I think it might be working now. I'm not going to swap it right now. So let's just put the plug back in. I put a little bit of oil in there, so it's always not a bad idea. So let me put the plug back in. We might have a runner. Michael Sucho, we might have a runner. Earl Moore goes Sparkolicious. Let's hope, man. You know, I really thought it was a bad carb. I almost never have dead plugs, guys. It, it is rare. All right, it's on. Let me turn the Baja off. I think we're going to have to go try it on outside right now. Let me put this back on. The boot. Yeah, this engine is really good. I don't want to have to swap it. This engine, this RCMK, so you guys know, it's it's more powerful than the Zenoa. Right? It's more powerful. All right. Um... What else could I do? Let me just check out some of these this other stuff. I'm going to clean up a little bit. I'm going to go outside. I have some fuel in there, so there's definitely fuel. I'm not going to put the body back on for now. But ideally, this car, this whole fuel tank needs to be replaced. It's not very good. It might even be cracked in some spots over there. But for uh, test purposes right now, 
I think we can do a little fire up. All right. So, guys, I mean, I I'm honestly a little bit surprised. I, I was 100% sure it was the carb. But as you just saw, process of elimination. You usually cannot be wrong, right? So process of elimination, make sure you do that. Even though you think you know what you're doing, coil is good. Next thing you want to check is the, pl is the plug. Plug was bad. And I cleaned it. I, I, I kind of like sanded it a little bit off the side to the camera. It was definitely bad. It was zero sparking in it. So give me a second. I'm going to go outside, my dudes. And we're going to fire, well, try to fire this Baja up. What do you think about that, everybody? All right. By the way, I just wanted to ask, do you guys have a chance to see today's uh, sickening uh, vintage Kyosho Turbo Burns video? All right. GR's Moto Madness, I think this engine will be okay. Mo more than likely, um, eventually, it's, it's very old, right? So I don't really run them too crazy. Like the compression is okay, but my plan for that other Zenoa was the Red Cat Rally. That was honestly the plan. But the thing is, there's a lot of other things that have to happen before that happens. Okay, Terry Curry goes fired up. Okay, I got a C-mail here from you, man. I see it with a Slayer. I see a Slayer in an email. Someone sent me an email with a Slayer. Or a Revo. Is that a Revo? I like emails with freaking Revos. It's sickening. Okay. All right, so let me button this thing back up. And as they say, it won't take longer than a minute. But it always takes like many minutes, you know? All right, so got to get my hat on. Yeah, I'm not even going to really do much. The car, the car is ready to go. Let me plug this back in. Get the lights back. Let me just show you what I'm doing. I'm going to put a little bit of the roll cage back in so I could just like carry it. Damn, this, this uh, roll cage is a little uh, fidgety to be honest with you over here. Duh! Okay. It's seated. Okay, it's seated itself. Kind of like a clasp design. Um, all right. Let me check my email again. So I got an email. I don't want to read the name. You know, it's like people are private about stuff. I got email with pictures of a Revo. Is that you? That might be you. Oh, there's another email. Okay, that's not you. That must have been someone else. All right. Um, it said no subject. From uh, Joseph. Don't want to read the last name, you know. But I think that's you. Okay, I, I got something, but there's nothing in the subject line. And there's nothing in the, in the, in the body. All right. Let me get dressed, my dudes. We're going to go outside. There's a little bit of fuel in here. Let me prime it, like, before we go, because it's, like, hella cold outside. Actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do a couple primes. Okay, so we see fuel in the line. That's okay. I'm going to prime the rest outside. Yo, Melissa! Eugene Pony, I'm only going to start it for, like, maybe 20, like, 10 seconds. It's not going to be that bad. You know, it's, like, it's only 930. Uh, the, the neighbors will be okay. You know, I don't run these out. I don't do like break in cycles outside for more than a couple of minutes. Um, I'm pretty respectful of my neighbors. So if they say anything, I mean, I'll just be like, okay, you're right, you know. Let me, uh, Melissa, I need my jacket, please. And my hat, please. All right. Okay, I got the email. I'm that Traxxas Revo. I got it, bro. Okay, Melissa, get a jacket, please, and hat. And I'm going to go outside real quick. I'm going to need a hand. Because uh, Baja's mad heavy over here. All right, guys, give me a second. We're going to go outside. There's already some fuel in the line, in the, in the carb. I mean, I'm sorry, in the, in the tank. If it fires up, we'll know that at least that's not the carb. And if it isn't, then we'll, we'll try to fix it. All right, let me get dressed. Okay, hold the door open, please. Go, hurry up. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys, hold on. Let me get dressed over here. It's a New York City life, you know? All right. All right. All right. Let's, let's, let's hit it. 
Don't even need a glow driver because it's a gas RC. That's sick. All right, we've got the screwdriver in case like there's anything wrong with the, with the tune, but there shouldn't be. I don't think I messed with the tune. Damn, my knee hurts. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's roll out as they say. All right. I'm gonna need a door open, please. All right. Are we motivated? Is it gonna fire up? We're about to find out. Damn. Damn, this thing heavy with one hand. People think I'm weak. There's nothing weak here. Whew. Sickening stream goes, bro. We stick right. Thank you, bro. One handed Baja carry. You have to fall downstairs. Well, this is said I'm going to fall downstairs. No, 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 go. I got it. I got it. It's just part of the nitro training. Uh huh. What's up, you guys? All right. Open door, please. All right, guys, hold on a second. I gotta not show you. It's private stuff going on. We got. I could open the door. Uh oh. It's stuck in the door. All right. All right. All right, my dudes. It's about to go down. We just need a little bit, okay? We don't need that much. Let's face it. A one-handed Baja carry. That was tough. Digital darkness goes, I gotta train for nitros by curling Bajas. I used to do that. Okay. All right, so basically just gonna see if it fires up a little bit. That's all we're gonna do. I'm gonna not really run it too long, obviously. The goal is a fire up gang. All right. What's up, Texas Hill? Yeah, we got a Baja gang out here. It's a pretty rare one. Um, well, it has upgrades, it has brakes, it has stuff. All right, so let me prime it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We might need more fuel. Right. Make sure, okay, we got brakes, everything's good. There's bubbles in the fuel line. Hmm, might need more fuel. Let me see if I prime it in this direction. I think we definitely don't have enough fuel. I'm gonna try again anyway. All right. It's just uh, doing the prime job. the freaking bad plug the whole time i can't believe it okay even with not enough fuel did you see that kill switch that was exciting huh i'm a little proud of myself guys I, that means i could run this bar i don't have to dig into the carb that means i could use that carb on something else sickly texas hill go starts nice that's right you see that smoke pour out that was beautiful all right john goobin goes it's alive yeah, fired up pretty nice. Let me see if we could do one more fire up. All right, Teru Curry goes, sickening Baja gang. All right, we're gonna do one more, okay? Rooster goes, great success. 
So uh, lights are great. Beautiful. I'm gonna do one more little fire up. Let's just see. I don't want uh, people to uh, go crazy out here, you know? I'm gonna lower the idle a little bit. Uh, I don't mean idle, I mean uh, I'm gonna rich in the high speed, the low speed needle. Sorry about that. I meant rich in the low speed needle. All right. I'm gonna fire it up a little bit more, just one more time. All right, put your hands together. The Baja King is here. success well guys what do you think about that major success huh I bet some of you here didn't think it would fire up I would be there with you guys I thought it was the carb okay I thought it was the carb I'm not gonna lie to you I thought it was a bad carb turns out it's a freaking bad plug you see this is actually kind of good I'm, I'm actually a little bit happy I'm actually a little happy, guys, because, like, you know how I started this video? I said, make sure you get that uh, 25 to 1 premix fuel. It doesn't kill the carbs, but it kills your plugs. <laughs> All right, let's go back inside, my dudes. We'll do something else. John Hensley, thank you, man. Um, I'm glad you were here, all of you, for it. In fact, this is a worthwhile repair. You know, I don't like to do streams where I basically destroy shit and do nothing. This is a worthwhile repair. Uh, I like to do them live as they happen through the problem solving process. And I think we've solved, we've solved a major problem to be honest with you, you know, major problem. Baja don't start, now it starts. It's quite easy, all right? I'm sick of it. All right, let me turn this thing off. We're gonna go back in. It's uh, cold out here. I gotta RC swap me tomorrow, can't get sick. Well guys, it's fixed. Now, who's going to help me carry it back in? I'm sick. All right. Yeah. West Hobbies goes way too rich. So, uh, the thing is, yeah, right now, like, you know, you, it looked really rich because, like, there was a lot of 3-1 uh, oil there that was burning off. I didn't really accelerate. When it runs normally, it's, it's just regular 25 to 1. So, it really isn't that rich. You know, like, it looked extra rich right now because of the, the burning off of the oil, you know? Uh, let me go back in. Baja in one hand. You dudes in the other hand. All right. That's how it works. That is how it works, bro. Terracuru, yeah. That's how it works. Oh man, scrape the scrape my whole side. Okay. Please open door. Please open door. Okay. Whew, guys. Liz, did you think it would start? I honestly didn't know because I thought the carp was bad. Dude, I, I learned something here. Uh, no one's getting whacked. This is not a whacker channel. It's real positive people here. There's no wackos. There used to be one, but he left. Now he's out there whacking other people. Oh. Well, my dudes, I think that Zenoa engine has saved the day big time, right? I think we all learned something here today. Uh, yeah. Yeah, West Hobbies RC uh, goes to check the old plug because you could tell it was rich. I, I, I do admit, I mean, it was rich. So the last time I ran this, right, I kind of like just idled it too long. It might have been a little bit of my mistake also. In fact, where is the old plug? I lost it. Damn, I'm gonna have to order some plugs right now. It's all right, some people, they're, they're like $5 each or something. Unless inflation went up sky high, now they're like more. But we'll see, we'll see. Um, I understand we all have a preference on how we run our RCs. So yes, I, I will tell you guys, long ago, 
I did used to run 32 to 1 because it's less rich. The 25 to 1 is a little too rich. Uh, but since I don't really like to mix oil anymore, I just run the 25 to 1 and that's it. It's just very, for me, it's very, very difficult to buy ethanol-free fuel in New York. It's, it's almost impossible, actually. So, you know, based on, like, what I have, I basically have to use the, the premix. Like, I basically have no choice, unfortunately. Kind of just kind of like how it is. You know, I, I fully understand that 25 to 1 for a broken-in engine is actually a little rich. About 30 or 32 to 1 is, is actually ideal for these gas engines after breaking. Uh, but since I have no access to ethanol-free fuel, I, I'd rather just kind of take one in the bag, kill a plug. You know, kind of like my understanding is I'd rather have a plug, a plug go bad after like two years than have a carp go bad. Now, who here with me is on that logic train here? Are you on that logic train, guys? I'm on that logic train, you know? All right. Like, you're going to have, depending on what state you live, you'll have access to different fuels, you know? Just kind of like how it is. And it's easier to say, bro, you're running it too rich. It's your problem, you know? You're, you're bad. You're a bad guy. But the thing is, um, if given the choice between ruining a plug over two years and ruining, like, a way more expensive, a heavy-duty carb, I'd rather go with ruining the plug, you know? But the question is, where the hell did I put the plug? I wanted to look at it. All right, whatever. It's gone. All right, guys, it's gone. Check this out, everybody. It's the biggest piece of junk I ever had, right? Anybody know what that is? What what this chassis is from? What's up there, Manny Guns? How you doing, man? Happy to see you here, man. The question of the day is, what is this piece of junk from? And how much do you think this cost or is worth? So it's a chassis that I actually do have. I don't know why I have this. I think I got this as like some kind of junk lot. Oh, Luke, bro, yeah, next week, um, yeah, next week is a go for Nitro, man. Yeah, next week is a go, man. Sunday. This is, guys, this is not a Fortec. Come on, my dude, this is not a Fortec. Bro, guys, guess again, come on, come on. I know it might look like a Fortec, but it's not a Fortec. This is the Kyosho FW06 chassis, or what? what is what is left of it, right? So FW06, I think I was going to use this for parts, I got the FW06 a while ago, and actually the very first crash I had, kind of like a small rollover, uh, it broke the front bumper off. <laughs> the FW06 has like the world's most flexible plastics, everybody. Well, the Baja is fixed, man. I think I'm going to assemble it back together. What do you guys, you want to watch me assemble the Baja back together? It's a little boring, I think. I don't know. Forever Young RC is correct, FW06. Max Paul, thank you, man. Um, you know, once again, guys, I just wanted to run through the trial and error process on figuring out what's bad. In this case, I actually thought it was a bad carb. Carb is actually good because it fired up average. Um, it turned out to be a bad plug, which I, I was a little surprised, right? But, like, you would rather have bad plugs than bad carbs. Let me just put it that way. Let me check out how much these plugs actually cost right now. Let me go check out. Um, John Hensley wants to know what engine is in the Raminator. So those are completely different from these engines. In fact, they have very close to nothing of the same order. They are like 49cc pocket bike engines. So they have five horsepower, but they're very low, low RPM engines. I tested it, it doesn't even get 8,000 RPM. All right. So NGKCMR7H. Probably going to go to AutoZone tomorrow. Dude, it, did they go up? I think they went up in price. Oh, no, no, that, that's a six, no, that's a six pack. Okay, my bad. Six pack is $27, okay? I think I'm going to get a six pack. So basically, yeah, those, they're like, yeah they, they, they like tripled in price, bro. All right, so each one is $5. All right, so I'm going to buy them at like Walmart tomorrow. A 10 pack is $47. You really, you really don't need a 10 pack though. But 
Yeah, 10 pack. Uh, these are the plugs in case everybody, anybody's wondering the NGK CMR7H. All the fit scales run them. Um, other than the primal, they use Chinese stuff. All right. In fact, you know what I'm going to tell you about primal? Game over. That's what I'm going to say. What's up, Benjamin Martinez, man? We just fired up this Baja. I thought it was a bad car, but it wasn't. It was a plug. Can you believe that? Can't believe it. NGK, yes. These use NGK plugs, Barista Craig. NGK. Pretty dope, huh? Now, I know over the years I've gotten some RCs and they were using um, champion plugs for like small loan equipment. Don't use a champion plug, man. Don't use a champion. You want the NGK. It has to be the NGK CMR7H. Those are, that is the code. It has to be that. If it's not, you're not going to have a good time as Mr. Mackey likes to say. So, let me button this Baja back up. It's going to be a little bit of work for me actually because like... I have front brakes going on. It's, it's mad annoying. All right. So, if you guys want to chill here with me, we'll uh, we'll do it, okay? No, I got no problems with Primal. They don't call me, I don't call them, you know? It's all right. I guess my videos didn't sell didn't sell a lot of optional parts, right? That's a thing, man. A lot of these like YouTube influence people out there, their main goal is to just break shit, you know? Like that that's their main goal. It's not my main goal. Like that, that that's just not my main goal, right? Uh, it never will be, no matter what it is, right? All right, so let me assemble this back. Need some body clips. Where's the rest of the body clip? Also oh, the body clip. Let me go get the body clip, bro. Yeah, Australian or Seagulls breaking stuff is too expensive. The thing is, the average person. Ben says show him the Baja. Oh. Yeah, oh, well, for those of you guys that uh, maybe, maybe missed it, let me just give you a little show of this Baja. So this is my um, older style. I don't want to say older. I mean, it is an old Baja. This is uh, a King Motors Baja, right? But the main thing is the engine, RCMK. Very, very reliable. These things run super cool. They don't overheat. They have awesome compression. These are, um, I think these are 29cc, but they have what's called, what's known as a stuffed crank. Stuffed crank. Um, don't know what that means. I'm not a stuffed crank expert. Okay. But check this out. We have, uh, in terms of upgrades, for those of you that maybe you're wondering on a Baja what you want to get, what you definitely want to get is the upper HD chassis brace over here. This is the upper HD chassis brace. It is very, very thick. It's, um, it's a solid piece of like fat aluminum. I think this is like five or six millimeters aluminum. Another important upgrade is on the bottom. You want to get the metal stainless steel uh lower chassis brace very very important these bajas have a tendency if you jump them they will bend the whole front end for you but if you have the upper hd chassis brace you're pretty much golden okay um it's pr pretty much golden um uh, the brakes uh, kind of one of those things if you want to get it you just understand they're not going to be phenomenal well that's that's basically i mean that's this baja you know and otherwise it's a rcmk um King Motors pipe. It's a pretty good system. I, I kind of like it, actually. All right, so let me uh, switch it over again. And I'm going to work on assembling it now. All right. John Hensley goes, cool, Rick. Thank you, man. So this is the one I actually um, raced, like, a ton of people with, and I've won many times. I call this the Drag Baja. A lot of great videos with it, too. If you guys want to go on the channel, look uh, look them up there. You'll, you'll see them. Uh, let's button this thing back up. And it's going to be ready for a run next week. Let me get some body clips. Mm 
Thing is, the thing, this thing is so big, it's hard to actually work on on the table over here. Sick. That's, that's how you do it. All right, that's how you do it. All right, let's go down. I'll give you guys a view over here. I'm gonna basically start assembling the roll cage back. And I'm, I'm actually happy that it was just that. Yeah, this air filter sucks. I know I should get a foam one, but this one, it, it's the filter that was already on here. So we're just gonna have it how it is. All right, Lucas Tolka, bro, thank you for stopping by. If you're busy, you're always welcome. You have a great weekend, and stay positive, my dude, okay? Stay positive, but not, like, fake positive, okay? Like, there's people out there that think just staying positive is somehow doing, doing like, God's work or something. Uh, that, that's not it. All right? All right? Let's assemble the body back. JR's Mortal Madness, dude, did you see, I don't know how long you've been on my channel, but uh, the members here could tell you long ago, I could probably do it right now, just my bench press is kind of busy with RCs right now. I used to, um, I did 135 on the bar total, 135, right? And a Baja on each side. And I bench pressed it with chains. All right, so actually it's not that much weight, but... It's, it's cool, okay? Because, like, I had two Bajas, like... It, it happened. Lotus 420 will tell you. Okay? Actually, it isn't that much weight. I could bench way more than that. But, like, I'm older now, so, you know, I'm not trying to really injure myself. Let, let's just face it, bro. All right, let's assemble the Baja back. Yeah, putting this on is a little bit annoying. I'm going to clean them up a little bit. Around here, there's always dirt where the fuel is. Gotta say, this is an original HPI body that was painted. It is very good quality. Very, very good quality. Oh, why, why are you looking at me in the face over there is the question. All right. Okay. So the problem is it's a little tough to put on. You have to kind of like go like this first. Let me give you guys a better view. Sorry about that. I uh, realized I didn't give you a good view of what I'm doing over here. All right, I think you should be able to see now. All right, basically putting the body on. All right, everything is good. I didn't really mess with nothing else. So once we put the body on, the rest will be easy. Damn, I hate, I hate doing this right here. I'm always... This thing has to bend in a way or else you have to like remove. All right, it's in. It's stuck in there. Now basically a couple big ass body posts over there and it's fine. Body clips rather, not body posts. There's no body posts here, just body clips. Got that body clip. It's the world's biggest body clip, guys, right there. Well, yeah, this stream I think was a was a major success. It fired up twice easily, no problems. It didn't flood nothing. We checked the plug. It was perfect. Perfect, huh? Let right, me get the roll cage system assembled. That part's kind of annoying. Well, let me get the roll cage system assembled here. Oh man. Whoa, so this is a tough live today. Yeah, gotta put the roof skids back on, all the all that stuff.
All right, so first thing, I think I'm gonna put the Intigy skid back on. Then I think the other part goes in. Yeah, yeah, this goes first. All right, there we go. Major Baja success though, no? Well guys, for tomorrow, I'm gonna try to sell a couple electrics at the swap meet. I got a brand new uh, inbox, never ran, associated DR10. What do you think I should ask for the DR10? Brand new, like the orange one, it's pretty nice. But they're not, that whole drag racing scene is not popular anymore, I think, I think it's dead. But if you were me, what would you ask for the DR10 in a box, brand new? That's like that 10th scale drag car. Does anybody remember if I tightened the plug well? Probably did. Okay. Let me see what you guys are saying. All right. $300 goes Lotus for 20. Um, it's Burns. He goes, what time is a swap meet? So it's at... Um, Zeppelin Hobbies. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go online right now. I'll I'll check it out. Let me let me see what time it is. I forgot actually. There. All right, let me go check. It's too busy doing stuff. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna look right now. Okay. Zeppelin Hobbies, uh, Sunday, April seven. That's tomorrow. It is uh, 11 to 4, 11 to 4. I'll probably be there by 12, I'm lazy, you know. 11 to 4, man. Well, I realize I just made a mistake. Got to reassemble some of it. Hold on a second. Yeah. Orton Milton goes 150. I'm thinking like probably 150 is, is fair for it. Oh yeah, Rings goes double check that plug. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I'm gonna check the plug right now. I'm not sure if I timed it. Yeah, it's tight. It's tight. Okay, it's good. This is in. Man, this RPM uh, roof protector thing, I think it's called. I'm not sure what it's called. Whatever. Whatever it's called. You guys can figure it out. It's pretty It's pretty dope, actually. All right. Well, guys, I hope everybody learned today the trial and error process of a no-start condition. Even I actually, uh, good thing I went through the entire trial and error. I was just going to start swapping the carb. Imagine I swapped the carb and it wasn't that. Yeah. Uh, JR Moto wants to know, where is Zeppelin Hobbies? Let me see. I'm going to show it to you right now. I'm going to show it to you right now. Okay, give, give me a second. So tomorrow, 11, yeah, it's in Wayne, New Jersey, 1530, 
Wayne, New Jersey. I'm going to show you the screen. You want to see the screen? I'll show it to you the screen. It's a good question right there. Let me show it to you, man. Now that we can uh, do that, you know? So check it out. So here it is. Uh, Zeppelin Hobbies RC Swap Meet. I go basically every year. You know, what else is there to do on Sunday? It's cold anyway. So dress warm. Uh, April 7th. Zeppelin Hobbies. Uh, yeah, Wayne, New Jersey. There's, there's the address right there. All right. Sickening. That's going to be pretty fun. All right. Back to me over here. Let's see. It's a 10.06. I'm not going to be here for too much longer, guys, but... I hope you all appreciate it. Uh, well, you don't have to appreciate it. I'm not doing this like, you know, for it to be appreciated. Uh, it's not kind of like what I started this channel with. I didn't start it to become a celebrity. Uh, you know, you don't have to appreciate me, but I do uh, hope somebody at least learned something. That would, that would uh, make my night a little better. Right, anybody tells you they want to be appreciated. I don't think people deserve to be appreciated, really. It, well, they do, they do to a degree. But I didn't start this uh, to be appreciated. Let me just tell you how it is, all right? GR's Moto Madness, bro. I'm going to be there. You know you know who I am. If, you're, if, if you see me, if you're there, you know, just say hello, please. Like, you know, I don't know what you look like in real life, so uh, I'm not going to know who you are. But I'll most likely try to do videos or something like that. Based on whether it's windy, it probably won't do a live stream. But I'm going to use the rest of uh, tonight, I think, to prepare what I'm going to bring. All right, I'll adjust the rest of this later. Yeah. Barista Craig goes, Hybrid, your YouTube YouTube videos and stream are exactly what YouTube was designed for. I hope so, man. That's that's kind of like my goal, you know. I didn't, uh, long ago when I started, it, it was never really about me. Now, I will admit over time, like, a character has evolved, a Nitro Gang character, right? But uh, the reality is, if you go to my videos, like, maybe five, six, seven years ago, that wasn't there. It's just a natural evolution. The thing is, you run so many gas on nitro RCs, you're gonna become someone else. You're gonna become cooler. That's what happens. Well, anyways, I gotta go di dig through boxes right now, dudes. Actually, should I show you the DR10 right now? I'm not gonna do it. All right, I'm gonna be here for five, five more minutes, guys. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please do. That would really uh, help the algorithm out. I don't know shit about the algorithm, and people that tell you they do, they don't know. They know even less than I do. Okay, let me tell you something right now. Nobody knows it. There's a bunch of hearsay idiots out there that tell you they're gonna help you. No one has the ability to help you. Even I cannot grow my own damn second channel, bro. Okay, let me tell you something right now. Don't you guys think I would apply what I learned? through my years on YouTube to grow my second channel. Don't, don't you think I would do that? And it doesn't work, okay? Because it just doesn't work. So don't fall prey to hearsay nonsense out there thinking someone's gonna help you and some other guy that you think should be helping you is not helping you. You gotta understand, I can't even help myself, all right? That's just the reality. That's just the reality. I can't even get a thousand subs on my other channel yet, no matter what. Even when, like, Lotus420 and me or whoever tell people to sub, they don't. The thing is, as a creator, kind of have to understand you can't make people do anything, right? And uh, they don't owe you anything, and without them, you're nothing. That That's kind of the most important thing, in my opinion, you know? Yep, Barista Craig is right. You need soy face, soy boy thumbnails. That's basically right. You know, the other day I was on... I guess, you know, YouTube is going towards, like, these dumbass shorts now. Um, and basically, it'll be, like, some kind of fitness short about something. It'll be some guy telling you how to train. But, of course, you know, in the thumbnail, he puts, like, a chicken, like, see-through leggings at the gym training. And it, out of the entire, like, 18-second clip, it's, like, half a second of that. So, those channels should be terminated for doing that. But, you know, it's not up to me to say that. All of my thumbnails, maybe they're not the best, but they're 100% true. 100% true, bro. Okay, JB, thank you. I appreciate that. You know, today, a uh, video came out. Uh, James Simrose, bro, thank you for being here. I'll check you out later, man. 
Um, yeah. Australian or seagulls that outgrow them is like a mystical beast. Everyone's heard about it, but you just can't see it. So it's just like John Cena, you know? Just like John Cena, basically. You can't see him. Uh, what was I talking about, Barista Craig? I forgot what I was talking about. It's probably something interesting. Damn, what am I going to try to sell tomorrow is the question. Can't let any of my uh, RCs go, though. Nitros, that is. Like, what if I show up with an RS4 and, like, I want, you know, 184 and this guy offers me, like, very little. I'm going to be upset. Can't possibly let my RS4 go, bro. Anyway. Um, but that's kind of, like, the reality, you know. They'll put up, like, some some video the thumbnail will be like not even legitimate it'll be fake you know all of these actors in hollywood are talking about ai's taking their job there is no ai number one okay are they are they dumb there is no ai ai does not exist currently ai is you asking a text program to write you a dumbass answer to something okay that's not ai that's a comprehensive web search anyways with that with that i am out everybody as i said don't know what the algorithm does, but give this video a thumbs up if you can. And if not, I'll meet you in the backyard. All right? We'll have a Baja firing up contest. If you fire up your, your Baja first, you could give me a thumbs down. If I fire up my Baja first, you have to give it a thumbs up. And with that, I bid you goodbye.